now in North Korea, they're going to have a middle class. And it's like there's a burgeoning middle class. North Korea looks to have a middle class. The new coming trade and the Trump-Kim deal is going to basically create a North Korean economy where you can have a middle class. Meeting in Singapore with North Korea will hopefully be the start of something big we will soon see. That was President Trump this morning. Of course, Kim Jong-un has to have someone pay for his hotel room because that's the dire straits North Korea is in. I wasn't intending to go on that rabbit trail in the last segment with Manafort and the Mueller probe and Papadopoulos, but we got that out of the way. But there's all kinds of other news, and I, and I really wanted to get back into that with Dr. Corsi, who's going to join me at 12.06. In similar news, though, we mentioned, we mentioned Saucier suing Obama and Comey for sparring Hillary Clinton and prosecuting him for the exact same crimes. Oh, but Obama was a scandal-free president. So this story must be fake news. This, this, no, 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 no. No, 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 Obama's scandal-free. Come on, man. Oh, you know, I think we've got a, uh, I think we've got a news crew doing a man on the street right now that uh, is going to be asking a people a certain question about Obama. Wonder if they'll be able to answer it. Looking forward to that. In similar news, Imran Awan allegedly tried to hide his money while DOJ negotiates with him. Former Democrat IT staffer Imran Awan allegedly tried to hide his money. Awan's lawyer claims his client does not have a pot to piss in. Hmm. Awan is currently under FBI investigation over unauthorized access, house servers, and is indicted on charges of bank fraud. Of course, he had all sorts of phony businesses that his brothers were running and probably laundering money out of. That's where the bank fraud comes from. Getting paid millions and millions of dollars by the Democrat Party for this IT work. Now they're trying to hide this money and his lawyer's claiming he's broke. Well, where'd all that money go then, bro? You and your brothers made millions. And what did the Democrats know about the Awans, I wonder? If they knew anything about the Awans, they wouldn't have hired them. Unless, of course, they were engaging in something other than politics. Hmm. Maybe they're paying the Awans this exorbitant amount of cash because they want it laundered. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's why this comes from Luke Rosiak at The Daily Caller. Debbie Wasserman Schultz screamed at House officials to kill hacking probe, intervened in Pakistani criminal manner. Well, this is Debbie Wasserman Schultz freaking out right now because she knows she's caught guilty dead to rights. But I'm going to get into both of those stories with Dr. Corsi in the next hour. And in the meantime, I'm going to cover some of this other news to just get it out of the way. This is a, uh, a heartbreaker here. Amber Alert issued in Virginia, North Carolina, after police say registered sex offender snatched seven-month-old baby. And they believe that this baby is in immediate and serious danger. Mm, mm, mm. You have to, <sighs> boy, seven-month-old baby kidnapped by a registered sex offender. Now, there may be some other ripples to this story. We'll see if anybody wants to cover it, but it's really just sick that people are that sick, I think really is what that comes down to. Boy, where do you go from there? Okay, well... Paul Joseph Watson has the story that got linked on Drudge Day. Bilderberg globalists concerned about populist uprising in Europe. So amongst the topics of discussion at the Bilderberg Group, you have populism in Europe. They can't stand that. They want communism. They have the U.S. midterm elections. They have the post-truth world. The post-truth world. <laughs> the post-truth world. Oh, my gosh. Do you realize how much truth 
has been kept from the general public? I mean, unless you have a unless you have a good history teacher coming up in American schools, you won't know jack crap about human history. A good a good history teacher in the United States doesn't even go from the textbook because they know that about half of it's BS. But, oh, oh, see, now that we're actually entering a world where truth media is gaining footing, now that we're entering a world where the president of the United States just says things like it is, now it's a post-truth world. No, it's been a post-truth world. We're entering the post-post-truth world. That's what this really is. So the Bilderberg Group is going to be addressing how to deal with the post post truth world or the truth world yeah there's the washington post welcome to the post truth presidency oh yes not obama though not obama what does trump have a magic wand economy records oh i said trump up for that economy no 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 that was the truth president you want that doctor you keep that doctor nope you can't keep that doctor you love your health care plan, you keep that health care plan. Sorry, sorry, you don't, you don't have that health care plan. That's not your health care plan. You built a business, you didn't build that business. I built that business. So that's not the post-truth president, it's Trump who's the truth president. So again, Trump is the post-post-truth president. Obama's the post-truth president. And they don't know what to do. And the Bilderberg Group is going to be meeting in Italy which is right where a nationalist uprising is going on in the face of the EU right now. So, Paul Joseph Watson's story is up at Infowars.com. Now the New York Times, like everyone else, is having to admit that Trump knew what he was doing with the North Korean trade deal, really just bamboozled the media and bamboozled the Democrats who ended up siding with North Korea praising the North Korean propaganda head, Kim Jong-un's sister. But the story from the New York Times is shocking because you read the story, the headline is, China's trade war with North Korea is set to soar. China's trade with North Korea is set to soar with a Trump-Kim deal. So yeah, North Korea is going to benefit. Now they're going to have to do de deals with China, not just sideways deals that China's been taking advantage of North Korea on, just basically keeping the power on over there. And then you read the story, and it's all about how now in North Korea, they're going to have a middle class. And it's like there's a burgeoning middle class. North Korea looks to have a middle class. The new coming trade and the Trump-Kim deal is going to basically create a North Korean economy where you can have a middle class. But um, he's the post-truth president, okay? So uh, he's not the post-communist president. He's not the post-Korean war president. He's the post-truth president. I saw it on uh, the same New York Times that actually printed that story, admitting that he's, uh, you know, probably saving North Korea and uh, creating a middle class there. Here's Trump this morning meeting in Singapore with North Korea. Go back to that, guys. Meeting in Singapore with North Korea will hopefully be the start of something big we will soon see. That was President Trump this morning. Of course, Kim Jong-un has to have someone pay for his hotel room because that's the dire straits North Korea is in. Now, I want to explain another story that you're probably seeing here with a little bit more detail. Trump taunts NFL players after nixing Eagles White House visit. Well, first of all, the quote-unquote taunt to me, was more of just a, a joke. But there were only going to be 10 Eagles that showed up. So, of course, he wants to cancel it. Only 10 Eagles are going to show up. I'm sorry, he's got better things to do. That's how he looks at this. And as far as the taunt is concerned, it was more of a joke. And if you don't see the connection with this story... Vince McMahon taps Andrew Luck's dad to be XFL's new commissioner. You don't understand how Trump works. The timing here is perfect. 
put Vince McMahon and his comp competition league with the NFL back in the headlines to put more pressure on the NFL. This is the art of the deal. This is what Trump does. He has more friends and is more popular than the globalists. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. He goes to jail. He goes to jail. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Now, joining us is a best-selling author and researcher, Michael Malice. MichaelMalice.com. He grew up behind the Iron Curtain, so he understands the tyranny of collectivism. He's at Twitter at Michael Malice. He's written Dear Reader, Kim Jong-il, and he's been over there and researched it. So again, Michael Malice, author of The Dear Reader about North Korea. Uh, give us your expert take on where we are right now and the chances for war over there. I, I talk about this heavily in my book. If you look at these countries, Libya is a great example, Iraq, uh, and, and several others. When the, the countries liberalized, Romania was the example Kim Jong-il himself used. When these countries liberalized, very often the people at the top are shot, and with good reason. You look at Gaddafi, he was sodomized to death, Saddam Hussein was hung, and Libya had a uh, nascent nuclear program. They agreed to give it up, and what happened is right now you have slavery there. So North Korea very quickly realized that the best uh, def defense is a good offense. Uh, Kim Jong-il said he wants to turn the country into a hedgehog, meaning one with nuclear missile spines pointing in every direction. And if you think about it, it how much easier, I don't think they would have been running their mouths to this point if they didn't have nukes or at least some very, very strong weaponry. Something would have happened to him. So they are very conniving in their hold on power. They're very... Uh, interested in self-preservation and unfortunately it's at the expense of the you know 25 million North Korean population who are the victims in this a horrible decades-long atrocity don't they know the calculus has changed and that the whole strategy of patience and, and then the globalists using North Korea as a strategy of tension that that is coming to an end it is coming to an end and, I, and they're scared and they're clearly scared and you see that they're reaching out to South Korea their arch rival in some kind of China very publicly last year and in the uh, recent months has been turning their backs on them Russia to some extent has been turning their backs on them you know Putin liked the idea that North Korea could kind of be a thorn in our side but even he's not going to be defending you know concentration camps and starving children for political purposes he's a far cry from Stalin so uh, North Korea has been an international embarrassment especially for China although they do serve a purpose but China wants to have this dignified appearance the Olympics is there any bigger symbol of global cooperation that you know that South Korea is having the Olympics now this is every country is turning their back on the north and they don't know what to do this is kind of uncharted territory for them thank God and I'm not saying this is the end of the North Korean regime which I pray every day that it is but if this were the end this is what the end would look like yeah, they are a hostage nation of just people who don't even know what planet they're on and that that's why they are the greatest victims, people under communism. Michael Malice, the book, Dear Reader, available everywhere. A Twitter, Michael Malice. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you. Thank you, Alex. Guaranteeing your food independence is a crucial part of prepping. Between debt crisis, natural disasters, or even simple power outages, having a supply of storable meals is crucial. With InfoWars Life Select Storable Food, you can make sure you and your family are ready for any emergency. With drinks, snacks, and meals in amounts ranging from 72 hours to a full year, there's no better place to look for healthy, easy, and incredible meals. Including meals such as traveler stew, homestyle potato soup, and a variety of other meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, InfoWars Life Select Storable Food will help you eat comfortably in a time of need. They even work great for camping. Simply pack a 72-hour kit to go and you have easy to cook and transport food for you and your loved one's trip. Don't be caught surprised by an emergency. Make sure you're stocked up today with all the food you need for an affordable price with InfoWars Life Select Storable Foods.